Hi gang, this is section 6.5, which is the point-slope form. Uh, we already learned the first two forms of linear equations, which are slope-intercept, y equals mx plus b, standard form, which is ax plus by equals c. So this one is point-slope form. If you just have one point and the slope, you can write an equation. In the other one, this one, you needed the y-intercept and the slope, and you could write it. This one, you could use any point. It doesn't have to be the y-intercept, and you can do it. So what it is, is it's y minus y1 equals m, or the slope, times the quantity x minus x1. m is your slope. Your point is this green point here, and I try to put it closer so you can see the color. So then, if you notice, it's the minus as well. So here's your x-coordinate, here's your y-coordinate. Okay, and um, again, it's a minus here. So if it's actually a positive x and a positive y, you're going to have negative numbers here. If it's a negative x, it's going to be like negative, negative x, it's going to turn out plus. And you'll see what I mean in the next part here. Okay, so graphing, if they give you the um, equation in point slope form, how do you graph it? Okay, first thing you want to do is find the point. If it's negative 1 and negative 2, again, this is your x coordinate next to the x. So because it's a minus 2, that means it's a positive 2 here. So my point is a positive 2. And because this is a y minus 1, this 1 is positive. So it's 2 comma 1. That's my point. When I come here, I just plot the point 2 comma 1. Okay. Then my slope, you can see that I color coded it for you guys, is 2 thirds. That means I rise to, again, this is rise over run. So I rise to 1, 2, and I run 3. And I put that big dot there. And when I rise 2, I can go down 1, 2, and I go 1, 2, 3. And my dot would be right here as well. So when I connect my line, that would, that would be my line there. Okay, so here's another one, and this is what I mean by having a plus 2. So if I have a plus 2, that's like saying minus negative 2. Okay, so my x-coordinate here is 3. My y-coordinate is going to be negative 2. Okay, so again, that's what messes people up sometimes because it's backwards. So I go 3 comma negative 2, and there's my point there. Okay, for my slope... It's negative 2, which is like saying negative 2 over 1 for my rise over run. So I'm going to go down 2, run 1. I'm going to go up 2 and back 1. So it'll be right there. When I draw my line, that's what it'll look like. Okay, so that's how you graph using point slope. Find the point in the equation and then use the slope as well and again I color coded it for you. Okay, writing an equation in point slope form or writing a point slope equation if they give you the slope and they give you the point it's going to be super fast. All you do is take this point so it's minus 5 take this point and it's minus 1 and you put in the slope which is negative 3 so that's all you do. This one is going to be fast, but because it's a negative 4, remember again, it's minus negative 4, so it becomes plus 4. And then this one would be plus 2, because it's um, a negative 2. Just remember, the x goes here, and the y goes here. The x goes here, and the y goes here. People get mixed up because they put the first one, which is the x, over here, they just put, they put the first one. It's actually opposite, so that's going to mess people up. And then your slope is 4. So this is another easy one, negative 1 half for your slope. My y is going to be over here, and it becomes plus 8, and then this one becomes minus 7, because it's a positive 7. Okay, so pretty simple. Here's homework check number 1. Please write this equation in point slope. If your slope is m equals 6, through the point, negative 1, 9. Okay, so that's homework check number 1. Writing an equation using two points. This is going to be given two ways. They're going to give it to you on a graph like this, or they might just give you two points in coordinate form like this. Um, I'll go over the, the 
coordinate ones for after. So when you're writing an equation using two points from the graph, and sorry, I'll go closer so you can see. In this first one, you can see when they give you the two points, one of the points is the y-intercept. So you could actually do it in slope-intercept form and just write y is equal to, uh, remember this one, blank, blank x, and then because it's plus 2, my y-intercept is plus 2, I can do it there. Find my slope, it's down 2 and over 3, so it's negative 3 over 2. So I can just write it like that. If they give you a point, a slope with the y-intercept, you can use slope-intercept. But if they give you something like this, that goes between two lines, you cannot really tell what the y-intercept is. And I'll go, sorry, I'll go closer so you can see. See how it doesn't go through, right through negative, um, positive 1 or positive 2? That in that case, now you're going to use your point slope form. Okay, so what you do in this case is you find your slope, which is down 2, so you're going down 1, down 2, over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, negative 2 over 5. So my slope is negative 2 over 5, and I can use either point. I can use negative 1, 2, or 4, 0, your choice. I just usually use the easier one of the two or the left one. Uh, let's use 4, 0. We'll just use this point here. Again, it doesn't matter which one you use. And when you write your equation, it would just be y is equal, I'm sorry, y minus 0 is equal to negative 2 fifths x minus 4. And I'll make that 5 better, sorry, so you can see it. Okay. And whenever you have a 0, you actually just drop it off. So I would drop off the minus 0 and go y is equal to negative 2 fifths x minus 4. And that's how you do that one. Okay. Sorry, just changing the light. Okay, so here's another one. You can see it doesn't go through uh, y-intercept perfectly. So we find the slope again. And if I go from left to right, I go up 1, 2, 3, 4, and over 1, 2, 3. So 4 over 3, and it's a positive sloping line, so it's positive. My point, I can use either one. I'm just going to use 2, 3. Since it's there, I'll use this point. Okay. And again, my equation, y minus 3 is equal to, and I'll use color coding this time, 4 thirds times the quantity x minus 2. So you can see it like that. Okay, that's how you write an equation. All you need to do is find the slope. In, in this case, they gave you the slope and the point. In this case, you got to find the slope according to the graph and then use one of the points. Okay, so in the same way this here, oh, by the way, in case I ask what's on the board, there's our pink melting snowman. Okay, pink melting snowman. So I might ask you for that, so make sure you know that is a pink melting snowman. I know I even go close. See how he's melting? Okay. Um, so writing an equation, what if they give it to you in coordinate form like this? Okay. And the other thing, too, they're going to ask you to do, once you put it into slope-intercept, they're going to ask you to change it into, I'm sorry, point-slope. They're going to ask you to put it into slope-intercept and or standard form. So I'll show you how to switch back from one to the other. In this case, slope, you got to remember y minus y, so we can go either way, I'm going to go this way, over x minus x. So 7 plus 4 over 2 minus 1. And it's plus 4 because it's minus negative 4. So it becomes 11 over 1, which is just 11. So my slope is 11. The point I'm going to use, I'm just going to use the first point, which is 2 comma 7. And I'm going to write it as y minus 7 is equal to 11x minus 2. So there's my point slope. And I'll color, I'll put it here. So this is my point slope form. Okay. When I want to change it, you should be able to see right away, I'm going to distribute this in. So I get y minus 7 is equal to 11x minus 22. And if I want to go into slope-intercept, I want y by itself. 
So I need to add 7 to both sides. Get rid of that. And y is now equal to 11x minus 15. Oops, I forgot the x. 11x minus 15. And that is my slope intercept form. And if they ask you to go to standard, now I need to make the x come to this side. So I'm going to minus 11x from both sides to get rid of that. And I'm going to get negative 11x plus y is equal to negative 15. And again, I need the x to be positive, so I'm going to divide by a negative 1 and get 11x minus y is equal to positive 15. And there is my standard form. Okay. So they might give you the slope and the point. They might put it in a graph like we did over here. They might just give you two points. If they give you two points, you find your slope, use either point, you have point slope. Put it into point slope form. If they say change it into slope intercept, um, we need to distribute and then move that 7 over or whatever numbers here over. And then now we got y is equal to 11x minus 15. There's your slope intercept. If they say go to standard, now we got to move that x back over to the left side and then change it to a positive and make sure all of them are integers. So we have 11, negative 1, and 15 as my a, b's, and c's. Okay, so here's another one. And another example, I, I did one with that I have a fractional slope. So when we do our slope again, I'm going to go y on top. So negative 3 minus 4 over, and then on the bottom, 5 minus 3, and I get negative 7 over 2 is my slope. Okay, this one was 11. My point, I'm just going to use um, the first one, 5, negative 3. Normally, I just use the positive one with the 3 and 4, but I'm going to use this one. So when I write my equation, y plus 3 is equal to negative 7 over 2 times x minus 5. There is my point slope form. Okay. And you can see it there. Now when I distribute, I'm going to distribute both of these, and I'm going to get y plus 3 is equal to negative 7 over 2x plus... 35 over 2. Okay, I'm just going to leave it as an improper fraction for now. I'm going to minus 3 from both sides. And this six, this 3 is actually like saying minus 6 over 2. Because I want a common denominator for these two. So when this is gone, I get y equals negative 7 over 2. Oops. Uh, negative 7 over 2x plus... And then I can change that 35 minus 6 is going to be 29 over 2. There is my slope intercept form. Okay. Now when I change it again to standard, I want a plus 7 halves x to both sides. And I get 7 over 2x plus y is equal to 29 over 2. But now I got fractions, so I got to change it to integers. So what I need to do is multiply both sides by 2, which means I got to distribute and multiply by 2. So when I do this, I just get 7x plus 2y is equal to 29. And there is my standard form. So you can see here's my point slope, here's my slope intercept, and here's my standard as well. Okay, that's how you go back and forth, back and forth, excuse me through to each different type of um, linear equation. Okay, the last one. Writing an equation using a table. So you can find, if you wanted to, you can um, find a slope. The way you find a slope is if you start doing this, remember slope is also change of y over change of x. So from here I went up to, I went plus two, plus 2, plus 2, and over here I'm 1, 1, 1. So I can see 2 over 1 is going to equal to 2. Okay. And I can use any point. I'll just use the first one to make it easy. 4, comma 11. 
And now I can write my point slope. y minus 11 is equal to 2x minus 4. And there is my equation. Okay. But if they give you something a little trickier, so if I went here, I got plus 2. Over here, I went plus 1. Over here, I went plus 3. You can see they're a little different. But when I go here, I can see I went plus 4. This was plus 2. And this was plus 6. So when I do change of y over change of x, I would get 2 over 4, which is still 1 half. 1 over 2, which is still 1 half. Or 3 over 6, which is still 1 half. So my slope is still 1 half. Okay. I can use any point. If I use negative 1, 4, use the first one again, I would get y minus 4 is equal to 1 half times x plus 1. Okay. And that's how you do it, using a table. Just find your slope using the change of y over the change of x. Here's homework check number 2. Oops, sorry. I gave it to you in point slope form. I want you to change it to slope intercept and standard, just like we did over here. Uh, sorry, over here. So I gave you the point slope form. So you didn't have to do all this. Stuff. I gave you point slope. Change it to slope intercept. Change it to standard. Again, here is the equation. Y plus 2 equals 2 times the quantity x plus 1. Slope intercept and standard form. Okay, take care.